It's day 42 on It's My Life 365, and I'm here in Utamba National Park, Sierra Leone. I'm travel writer photographer Brendan Vanton, and this is my daily adventure. Welcome to It's My Life 365. So I had a great sleep last night. I mean, it's just so peaceful out here, and I'm really the only one out here. You get the sounds of nature. You don't have like that, that machine playing the nature sounds to put you to sleep out here. You get the real thing, which is awesome. And at night, it gets black, pitch black. So there's no doubting that it's nighttime. I crashed really hard. I got a good eight hours sleep, which I haven't done in uh, since high school probably. But anyways, I was awoken this morning by more forceful sounds of nature. In particular, a group of, uh, well actually a troop of, of vervet monkeys that have just been really, really active on these trees that are hanging over the water. So I tried to film some of them, but uh, they were pretty busy and pretty active and they're quite timid as well. So I did my best. We got one species of, of mammals down here. Let's, let's see if we can find some more animals. So I've just been sitting here hanging out and about 20 minutes or so ago, I heard the really, really distinctive call of chimpanzees from across the river. And now the guide has just come and he told me he thinks that the chimpanzees sleep there, but then they move off to another part of, of the jungle. But anyway, we're probably going to cross the river and go on a bit of a hike and see if we can find anything. Again, beautiful place, but because it's the rainy season, if we see anything at all, it would just be a, a bonus, really. So, so let's see what today brings. We're just on the trail now with my guide. Yeah. What's your name? Foodie Kamara. Yes, Foodie. Yeah. Uh, buffalo and track. He's just found some buffalo tracks. Yeah. He thinks they were down in the the yeah. water here drinking. Yeah, this is a uh, bush buck. Bush buck. Yeah. We're still on the trail. Yeah. And the guide's awesome. He's found elephant tracks. Yeah. So one track. Yeah. A second foot up there and another yeah. one. Yeah. So there's big elephants. That's a big foot. That foot, I can stand in that <laughs> foot. There's still no animals. We've seen warthog trails now, but there's actually a chimpanzee yeah. nest up in the top of that tree. I'm going to video on the big camera so you can see, but that's pretty cool. So we've just climbed a, a mountain hill and we got a stunning view up here. No wildlife yet, but uh, not really surprised. The guide is saying that the grasses are just so high right now that it's hard to see anything. But really that wildlife is all around us, which is really cool. In the afternoon, if there's no rain, we're going to go try this other trail that apparently has more, more uh, elephant activity on it. So we'll see if that happens. If not, I'm going to sit by the, the river with some whiskey and enjoy it. We're back on the trail again, still no animals, but lots of signs of them. These footprints of elephants are leading here. I'm standing in one right now. And we're coming down the trail and we've just been following prints and then we see a, a route that the elephant took and watch this, the forest goes, this is the normal trail and then it just opens up and the elephant came through here. And just took down a whole section. Look, there's more. That's his footprint here. Just looking again at the prints. You can see that one there. <laughs> the guy says there was probably a whole group of elephants that did this, this uh, bit of destruction close to the path. So even more fun. There's a big elephant poo on the trail. But yeah, the guide again is saying that he cleaned this trail yesterday and it's like this. So it's been very, very recent that they've been here. And you can tell actually because where the prints are, it rained really hard yesterday. And where the prints are, it's on top of dry leaves. So what happened after the rains, which ended yesterday 
evening, so really, really recent. So I know I'm going on and on about these elephants we haven't seen, but they've definitely been here last night, maybe even this morning. And uh, this is how they enter the water. You can see they create a whole chute. Stream pool. And then they swim in there and, and sometimes cross the river. So it looks like there's been a whole family or group here. And we're going to keep following their tracks, see where it takes us. So yeah, we did quite a bit of hiking. Followed these elephant tracks for quite a ways. We went well off the usual track. And <laughs> as the guide said in Creo, small danger, which means it's kind of dangerous out here. <laughs> and and uh, so we he decided to turn back. There was a point that the, the brush was really, really high around us, and we found droppings that were really, really, really fresh. So he claims that they're right around camp here, which is quite, uh, quite cool. But uh, yeah, he says that pretty much he only sees an elephant once a month in the dry season. He's only seen one since the rainy season have started. So it would have been really, really lucky to see one. I'm not really that disappointed. It was still really fun getting out there and actually seeing the elephant tracks and the destruction that they cause as they go through the, through the forest there. Um, hopefully as we head farther south, especially when we get to places like Ghana, there, there might be some more elephant sightings. So you never know what's gonna happen. We'll see along the way. That troop of monkeys is back. So, again, I'll leave you with some, some footage of the monkeys and maybe a photo if I don't get any footage. Otherwise, you have to listen to me singing, and it's not pretty.